this morning and we're going to be doing a 30 minute Pilates session which is for strong hips and glutes. I'm going to try and give you a mix of some standing work and some more traditional Pilates exercises on the floor and also some little exercises of my own which I know really work to fire up those glute muscles. All right, so we're going to begin very shortly. If you have any questions, do pop them into the chat. You'll see the chat on your screen there. And then after class, I'll come back and I'll answer all your questions for you. Okay, so let us begin. Here we go. So we're going to start standing up. And we are just going to do a little gentle warm up and then we're going to go into some work to really kind of target those muscles. All right. So to get strength in the hips, we've got to work around the core, around the side of the body. And of course, these big muscles here, the glutes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's start with a few gentle knee bends. So I'm just going to go slightly sideways for you. All right. We're going to pull the tummy in and we're going to sit back. Think of really sticking that bottom out, sinking down, and then lifting up. And as you lift up, try and think of squeezing the bottom, okay? So we're going to bend and lift, bend and lift, bend and up. Four, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now I want you to put your right leg back, bend your left knee and bring the arms up. Okay. Now you're going to reach that leg out behind you. Keep it straight and lift it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring that leg in. So bending the knees, take the other leg back behind you. So this is to give you a chance to just get your balance. All right, let's bring those arms up. So keep that back leg straight, lift it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it in. Standing up. Okay, so we're going to go into the side of the body now. So working the side of the core. All right, so we're going to do the hip hitch. So I've done this in other videos. Brilliant exercise for the side of the waist here. Okay, so you can have your arms hanging down. You can have your foot flexed and you're just going to hitch your hip up. So trying to close the space between the hip bone and the bottom of the ribs and place it down. So it's a lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, and lower for four, three, two, one, and come down. Other side, lift and down, lift and down. That's it, keep hitching it out. So trying to really target here. The leg is just hanging. It's all coming from the core. Three, two, one, and down. Now let's take the arms out, really stretch them out, so open through the chest, take the leg out to the side. Little lift to the side, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Come down and swap sides. So set that body up, standing tall. So we've got good posture and then lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and come down. Okay, so we're gonna have the hands on the hips and we're gonna try and do little circles. All right, and what we're gonna do is take the leg forward. So start with your right leg. Take it forward, and then we're just going to try and circle it all the way around to the back. Bring it through without touching the floor, and forward. All the way around to the back. Bring it through, and forward. All the way around. And bring it forward, and one more all the way around. 
and bring it forward. Well done. That's not easy, is it, that one? Let's go on to the other side. So take the leg forward. That just gives you a chance to set your body, set that core, pull that belly in. Okay, so foot is flexed. And then we're going to go around to the back and bring it forward. So the leg is parallel. That's it. And forward. Around. And forward. And last one. Around. And forward. Well done. So shake those legs out. Super. Okay, so we're going to come down onto the floor now. And we're going to start, unusually for me, we're going to start on our side. So we're going to do lots of lovely exercises now for the hips and the bottom on our side. So you're going to lie yourself all the way down. You're going to have your knees bent. Now let's think about the spine. We want the spine nice and long. So try and be aware of how your position or where your position is. We don't want the head forward like this. We equally don't want to be sticking the bottom out. We want to feel what a nice long spine. So stretch out your bottom arm. If your neck's uncomfortable, you can put something under your head. Hand on this hip. And now the hip hitch, we're going to do it in this position. So you're going to put your hand over where your hip bone is. So see if you can kind of hook it into the top there. And now press that hip bone away and see how that lifts you under here. So it's working. You can see on my body, it's working my abdominals. And then let it drop down. So you're going to push it away and down. Push it away and down. So the idea is as you push away, you're aligning the hips on the side. Good. Push and down. Push and down. Two more. And down. Now reach it away. Now I want you to try and hold this position now through all the exercises that we're going to do. Okay, so you want to keep this space under here. I'm going to start with the clamshell. So we're going to open as wide as we can, keeping our pelvis still and down. So by stabilizing and keeping that pelvis still, you're really targeting the muscles around the hip. Okay, so don't let the pelvis roll. And down. Lift. And down. That's it. Keep that going. If you want to add your breathing, you breathe out as the knee comes up. And down. And down. Now you might already be starting to feel it. What we're going to do now is keep this position. So check that you haven't dropped down. And then we're going to lift the whole leg up and bring it down. So it's still at that angle, but we're lifting and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. That's it. Good. I'm already feeling this. I hope you are. And down for three, two, one, and down. Okay, so now we're going to lift that leg up, still keeping this position, extend it out. Okay, and then we're going to lower and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. So you should be feeling it all around here. Lower and lift, lower and lift, and lower and lift. Now hold the leg there, keep the thigh where it is and just bend at the knee. So the foot, it's like the foot's going behind you. Now I want you to reach that knee back, but you're going to try and keep this position here. So don't let your pelvis move. Don't let anything drop down. So we're really working that core. Okay, and then we're going to bring the leg through. So you're unfolding the leg, taking it through. You're going to flex the foot. You're going to reach that leg back, reach it behind you. Think of the heel reaching back, but try not to move that body. Okay, so you only go as far as you can, keeping that connection here. Point the toes and then bend at the knee. 
Okay, so again, lift up through the waist, come forward, unfold, flex the foot, reaching back, 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 point the toes and bend the knee. And then we're going to come forward and unfold, flex the foot, reaching back, back, and that point the toes, bend the knee, last one, coming forward, reaching out, flex the foot, and coming back, back, and back, point the toes, bend the knee, and come on down. So we're going to give this side a little rest. We're going to push ourselves up. Let's just do a nice little stretch. So you're going to bring that leg to here. If you've got the flexibility in the hips, you can take the leg over. We're just going to stretch out those muscles, all right? So you're just going to gently pull this leg towards you. All right, so we want this hand over the leg, this hand going behind you, now lift up, get this sit bone down on the floor. That's it. And now you're going to turn towards that leg so we can feel that stretch just where you need it, where you've been working. Well done. Come on around. Let's go do those exercises on the other side. So we remember we're going to do our hip hitch first. Okay, so you're lying yourself down, knees together, lengthen through the spine, hand on that hip bone. So hook it on the top of the hip bone. And then you're going to press away and down. Press and down. And down. Press and down. Four, three, two, one, pressing away. All right, so just check you've got that little space here. We've got that nice connection. So we're working all the muscles around here and around the back. We're going to exhale to open up, keeping that position. Inhale down. Exhale to open and inhale to lower. So you're going to find one side feels easier than the other. One side might feel a little restricted. You just do what you can. So for me, this side always feels a little restricted for me. So you just, just try and work through to the best of my ability because that's all we can do, right? And down. Lift and down, two more, lift and down, and lift and down. Now keep that leg in that position, keep the spine where it is, keep the hips where they are, so press out on that top hip, and let's lift the leg up, and bring it down, lift it up, and down, lift and down lift and down, good, four, three, two, one, now let's send the leg out, again just be aware that you've not dropped in your posture, all right, then we're going to lower the leg down and bring it up. Now, this leg's not going high because yeah, we're targeting the side of the body. Okay, in the upper part of the glutes, you'll feel it. If you place your hand here, you can really feel where that's working. A lift and lower. Oh, I can feel that. Four, three, two, 
One, now hold the leg there, bend the knee and take that foot behind you, reach that knee back, but try and hold this static position here. It's that holding of this position that is really working your core, yeah? Working all those core muscles, really important. Now we're gonna bring the leg forward. Unfold the leg, flex the foot, and then we're gonna reach it back. Try and keep that leg on the same level. Reach it behind you, try and lift up through the waist, point the toes, bend the knee. Good, so we're coming forward and unfold, flex the foot. Reaching back, bending at the knee, good. Coming forward and unfold, flex. Reaching back and bend the knee. Coming forward and unfold, flex reaching back and then the knee will do just one more coming forward and unfold flex reaching back and then the knee well done let's bring that knee down bring yourself up let's stretch everything out now so we're going to bring this leg to here or if you can taking it over get both sit bones on the floor this hand's going around, lift up through your spine, take the other hand behind you, and then just draw that leg in. And what you're trying to feel is that stretch on the outside of the hip where you've just been working. And let's get a nice little rotation there as well. Well done. Okay, so let's move positions. Going to come and lie down now on your back and we're going to do the pelvic curl because it's a brilliant exercise for the glutes and the hips okay so we're aligning feet knees and those hip bones hands down by your side taking a breath in you're going to breathe out tilting the pelvis towards you and then peeling the spine up Okay, so this is really working right here in the glutes. So you want to press up through those hips, keeping your ribs down. And you're going to inhale and exhale, slowly coming back down. So this really is articulation of the spine. So tilting as much as you can and then peeling up. Press down through those feet. That will really fire up the legs and the glutes, inhale, and exhale, as you come back down. Good, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll that spine out. Good, inhale, and exhale. Coming down, we'll do one more of these, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, and roll that spine up, inhale there, and exhale, coming down. Now we're going to go into a bridge without the articulation, so we're going to target much more on just firing up those bottom muscles. So if you think of the position you were at the top, that's what we're going for. So you're going to keep your spine straight, you're just going to press straight up and lower down. Straight up and lower down. As you go up, try and really squeeze the bottom and down. Lift and down lift and down for four, three, two, one, hold it up here, let's do little presses up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and three, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, one more time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower back down. Let's extend the left leg, just releasing those left mus uh, leg muscles. Lift your right leg up. Okay, and let's just extend that leg to wherever you can and just allow yourself to stretch out that muscle, okay? Flexing the foot as well if you're able. Good. Take some deep breaths. Now, I want you to point the toes, and I want you to walk your hands higher up the leg. See if you can draw it closer to you. So we're just stretching out through all those muscles we've just been working, okay? Because it's important for strength to make sure you've also got flexibility. Strength without flexibility means injury, all right? So we want that mix of the two, which is what Pilates is so good for. So from here, you're going to take a breath in, you're going to breathe out, you're just going to lift that chest up, and then we're going to take an inhale, exhale, try and draw that leg a little closer, and then release, exhale, draw it a little closer, and release, exhale, draw a little closer, and release, now start to lift the left leg, bring it all the way up, and then let's switch over. Okay, so we're gonna start with the stretch. Just find that place where you're getting a gentle pull. You can feel those leg muscles stretching. Don't worry if you can't straighten your leg. As long as you're feeling it down here, that's perfect. Okay, you might feel it in the back of the knee as well. Now, if we add a flex of the foot, you're gonna feel it going into the calf muscles, which is all good. Just take some deep breaths. Okay, let's walk those hands up the leg a little. Try and bring it towards you. I'm gonna point the toes as well. Let's lift the head and chest. A little bit of work in the abdominals too. Take a breath in, exhale, pull the leg towards you. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull the leg towards you. Inhale, release. And exhale, pull the leg towards you. And then as you release, let's bring that right leg up, bring it all the way up, and lower the left leg down. Okay, bring your chest down, and bring your pelvis back to neutral. So we're gonna bend the knee for a moment. We're gonna try and find the neutral position. So that's hip bones level across here little space under here. Okay, making sure you're not tilting back. You don't want to fill your back on the mat. Okay, we're going to take our arms out to the side. And now you extend your legs as much as you're able without your spine moving. Okay, and we're going to do nice little circles of the legs. So for those of you tighten the hamstrings, keep your knee bent. Okay. Those of you that can, you can extend your leg a little further. And if you can straighten your leg, you can flex the foot. Now we're gonna take the leg across the body. So we're going over to the left. We're gonna circle it down, out to the side and up. All right, so we're gonna go over, down, out and up. And the idea is that we're keeping our spine still. So we're really working right into that hip joint, all the muscles of the hip. One more. Good, let's go the other way. So going out, down, across and up. Out, down, across and up. Out, down, across and up. So what I love about this one is it's a stretch and a strengthen in the same exercise. Last one. Good, point the toes, take that leg down onto the floor. Let's bring the other leg up. And just do that little check in your body that you are still in a neutral position. You're holding your spine still. Okay, so that's where that core work comes in that we do in Pilates. Here we go, taking the leg across the body, down, out and up. 
across, down, out and up. Good. Across, down, out and up. Across, down, out and up. One more. Now we're going to go back in the other direction. Reach it out, down, across and up. Out. And it's like you're stirring as big circle as you can whilst also controlling the pelvis. Good. Last one. Well done. You're going to place that leg down. We're going to put the right foot across the left knee. We're going to stretch things out now. So you're either going to press down on that right knee, or if you're able, you're going to lift your left leg up, hands around the thigh. You're going to bring that leg towards you, and you're going to press into that knee. So this is where we're going to try and find that stretch in the hip. Okay, take a breath in. Exhale, pulling that knee towards you. Inhale, release. Exhale. Inhale, release. One more. Exhale. And release. Let's change sides. It's the same thing. We're either pressing down on that left knee or we're going to put our hands around the right thigh, lifting up. Take a breath in, exhale, pressing out on that knee. So pulling the right knee in towards you, pressing out on the left so you feel that stretch. And release. Deep breath in, exhale. And release one more. And release. Well done. Okay, so from there, we're going to come on up. And we're going to come into a kneeling position. Okay, so we're going to be on our forearms. And I'm doing it on the forearms because I know quite a lot of you say this can hurt your wrists. Okay, so we'll all do it on our forearms today. We're going to reach our right leg back and we're going to lift it up. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down, lift up, down, and lift. So keep that leg really straight. All right. We don't want to be bending at the knee. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And lower and lift. Now bend at the knee this time and also flex at the foot. Think of the heel pushing up to the ceiling. Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend the leg out. Now try and keep this position and swing your leg round to the side. So the right leg is going out to the right as far as you can without touching the floor. And then you're going to bring it back up. So it's going out to the right and lifting up. We're not touching the floor. So you're trying to keep the height and lift. Out and lift. Ooh, clicking my hip. Out and lift. One more. Out and lift. Well done. Bring that leg in. Let's go on to the other leg. So left leg back. Lifting it up. So, want that nice straight position. Make sure we're not rounding that spine. So, press into the elbows and then we're going to lower the leg down and lift it up. Lower it down and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. For four, three, two, one, lift that leg up. Now bend at the knee, flex that ankle. Think of the heel pushing up to the ceiling. Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extend that leg out, pull the tummy in. Let's try and bring the leg around to the side as far as you can and take it back up. Around to the side and back up. 
around and up, around and up, around and up. One more, around and up. Well done. Bring those knees in. Now I want you to widen the knees as far as you can and just sit your bottom down. All right, so we're just going into a nice stretch of the hips. All right, take the body down. You can rest your head if you want to, just reaching everything out. That's it. Take some deep breaths. Well done. And then slowly come on up. So we're in a kneeling position there. All right. We're going to come up to standing. So from here, tuck the toes under, lifting up all the way up, pressing the hips back, lowering those heels down, and then walking the hands back towards the feet and take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale, pull the tummy in. And slowly come up through the spine. And there you go. That's your session for today. So that's 30 minutes of Pilates for the hips, for the glutes. A very targeted workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to stick around now for the chat, I'm going to stay online to answer all your questions. Okay, and if you need to go, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Okay, everyone, here we go. This is the chat. Do excuse the noise if you heard any dog barking, uh, loud noises. We've got uh, Storm Eunice here, as I know you're all suffering from, because I looked at the chat earlier, and uh, it's incredibly windy. I think the, the wind's at about... 80 miles an hour or something at the moment down here, so it's pretty stormy outside. Um, but here we are, we're all together, so that is fabulous. So I'm just gonna have a look at your questions now and answer those questions. I uh, did wanna say thank you, first of all, to all of you who donate to this class, because it really does help me keep this class going. Um, especially, you know, with uh, us coming out of lockdown, things are changing a little bit, aren't they? But I know that a lot of you just now, this is part of your routine. So thank you so much for donating to class because it does really help me keep these sessions going on a Friday morning. Um, so Kerwin's just brought in some of your earlier questions. So I'm going to go through those first. And if you've got any other questions, pop them down on the chat because I always go through the chat screen just to see what people are asking. Uh, so, Carol Walnose, hello Carol, or Carol, should I say. Uh, Carol says, love the upper body band workout. Can you recommend another two short sessions to go with it? Oh, wow. Okay, Carol. So, let's think. Another two short sessions. I'm going to just have a look. Excuse me, I've got my phone here so I can go into my... YouTube and then suggest. So I think that was a 15 minute session, wasn't it? Um, so what I would say, Carol, is let's have a look because that was an upper body. I would say a good one for you to do would be the, uh, as an alternative, the 10 minute full body warm up. That's a standing Pilates. So that's the one I did a few weeks ago. It's called Full Body Standing Pilates. It's just 10 minutes. And that's the one with Boo, my little dog. Uh, she's in the picture. So that helps you find it. And the other one you could do if you wanted to really go for it is the 15 minute Full Body Pilates workout. That's where I'm wearing bright yellow. That's got a lot of upper body work in and an also a lot of weight bearing work, which you know I talk about a lot as we get older, weight bearing is so important for women and for men to keep your bones strong. If you don't put weight on your body, if you don't challenge your body in that way, you can't keep your strength, so very important. So you could have a look at that, and then I'm just gonna find you one more, because I always like to recommend three. Let's have a look. Let us say, 
Uh, oh dear, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to recommend the other one you could do is the 15 minute full body intermediate workout. So have a look at those and let me know how you get on. Um, okay, so I've also got Michelle Kobayashi. Hello, Michelle. I know you're in Yokohama in Japan. Lovely to have you here because I know it's your Friday evening, isn't it? Um, and Michelle says, is there a way to make my knees be able to bend more? They seem to be stiff and cannot go down all the way. Okay, so um, this is a good question, Michelle. Now, obviously, I'm not sure of your uh, fitness level. I know you do this class every week uh, or your age, and I don't want to get into too much specifics unless you're happy to share. But generally what happens is knees can get very stiff. And when you say you can't go down all the way, I'm assuming you feel the restriction in your knees. And my answer to that is always that when you feel a bit of resistance to something in, in, in whatever joint in the body, don't push it. Yes, what's important is just to keep what I call gently chipping away at it. So for example, um, you'll be talking, I would imagine, about doing movements like this where we're bending the knees, yeah? So obviously I can, I'm flexible in, I'm very flexible in my hips, almost too flexible. I'm pretty flexible in my knees, even though I do have, did have, or do have a very bad knee injury on this leg. But somehow it seems to be fine with doing my regular Pilates, but what I would say, Michelle, is it's just a matter of constantly working the knees. I think you probably need a mixture of um, gentle kind of mobilization work, you know, this kind of thing. Particularly when you're on the floor, it's a really good way to build flexibility is to do very what I call movements where you've really got control, yes, and where you're not weight bearing. So this is a great way to kind of work the knees is to have the hand behind the leg and do movements where you're just working on uh, knee extension. Yes, or leg extension. Okay, so we flex and we extend little movements like that. That's the way to go, Michelle. And stiffness, it can happen to everyone, uh, particularly as we get older. And the way to kind of work with it is just to try and do as I always say, you know me, I've got a little mantra, a little bit every day. A little bit every day does you the world of good. Um, so, and don't worry if you can't go all the way down because we are all different. And I would imagine there's a little bit of restriction there, Michelle. So you just do what you can and just try and do it on a regular basis. And you will find it will, won't happen straight away, but eventually, you'll start to notice you've got a little bit more flexibility, okay? So that would be my recommendation. Um, now, I'm gonna just go into the top here because I just wanted to see who's come in. Apparently, it's a very special person's birthday today. Is that Lily Mars? Um, I'm just trying to find it in here. Has Lily, is it your birthday, Lily? I've got a little note on here saying, it's Lily's birthday. So, dearest Lily, happy birthday. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you've got some lovely plans ahead for your day and have a wonderful, wonderful time. So, happy birthday to Lily. Okay, so I'm going to go through your questions now and uh, thanks to everyone. So, I'm just working my way down from the top of the chat. So, if you haven't asked a question and you feel like there's something you want to know, Put it in the chat now because I go all the way to the end. Okay, so thank you to Yvonne Thorpe. Good morning, Yvonne. Thank you so much for your donation this morning. And yes, I agree. I hope everyone is safe in this storm, Eunice. It's pretty scary at the moment. You probably can't hear it because I'm on a little microphone, but there's so much noise outside, all the trees blowing. It's a little bit scary. Uh, we've been told, so I live near the beach in uh, Brighton, and we've been told not to go down to the beach because of the waves. It's actually very dangerous at the moment. So, yeah, hunkering down inside. Uh, Sarah Baldwin, good morning, Sarah. 
Sarah's a lovely uh, makeup artist based in Scotland, for those of you who are interested. And she's going to catch up next week. I'm so glad, Sarah, to hear that you're feeling better after your op. Uh, Sarah had to have some quite major surgery, and she's been using Pilates to rehabilitate herself post-op, and it's going really, really well. So I'm so, so pleased to read that. Morning, Diane McFadden. Diane's home to oversee her kitchen renovation. Diane, I hope you are cracking the whip, making sure you get it just how you like it. Uh, yes, and it's snowy in Northumberland, is it? Well, do take care, Diane, won't you? Uh, lovely to have you all here this morning. Just so you know, there's been about just under 200 people this morning, which is amazing. So thank you all for joining me. Sissy Jackman. Hello, Sissy. Sissy's over in Sweden, who joins us every week. She's had a, a nice walk with her mischievous doggy, and she's going to join the class later on today. So lovely. And thank you for your donation, Sissy. Lovely to see you are here. Alan Ackers, good morning, Alan. Thank you very much indeed for your donation and your emoji. Fantastic emoji there. Good to have you with us, Alan. Uh, Maggie from Leicestershire, good morning, Maggie. Susan Eisenbach, thank you very much for your donation, Susan. Uh, lovely to have you here. Morning to Margaret Scott. Hi, Margaret. And hello to Carol Nee. Thank you, Carol, for your donation. Oh, lovely to see all these lovely familiar names. It would it be nice one day if we could do this live in the flesh, in person, and somehow get us all together from all over the world? Because it'd be so nice to put a face to all these names here. And if you're new, don't be shy. Send me a message because we love to welcome people into our community. Morning to Kathy Freeman in Berlin. I hope you're okay over there. You, you're in between storms. That's good. I'm glad to hear you're okay. Uh, morning to Maggie in Leicestershire. Um, and uh, she was saying you're going to try and change your name as Dave is your other half. Okay. Thank you, Maggie. Yes. Because uh, people, it's interesting, people's handles and uh, often if they've signed in their computer on, on their partner's name, uh, I'm calling out names Dave and it's actually Maggie and all that kind of stuff. So Maggie, thank you for letting me know. That's good. Good morning to Ruth Enright. Uh, lovely to have you here. The storm is, uh, oh, you're having problems sending a super sticker because of the storm. Okay, well, don't worry. I know you were here and you were here at class, so that's all good, Ruth. Thank you as always for being part of our community. Cheryl Allen, good morning. Thank you, Cheryl, for your donation today. Much appreciated. Morning to Penelope in Chiswick. I actually did a live class in London last week, which was fantastic to see some of my London friends and London Pilates peeps, as I call them, live in the flesh. Penelope was one. It was lovely to see you, Penelope. So thanks very much. Morning to Wendy Grantham. Lovely to have you here, Wendy. Thank you for your donation. Morning to Leslie Matin. Good morning, Leslie. Thank you for your donation as well. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Wendy's in France at the moment. It says it's quite calm over there. So glad to hear that. I hope you don't have the storms, Wendy, because it's pretty scary stuff. Carlin Hawkren over in the US of A. Hello, Carlin. How's your knee? I hope it is getting better. I know you've been working very hard on your rehab. Michelle says, good evening from Yokohama in Japan. It's still very cold here and we had a dusting of snow again. I need this hip work as I uh, out. I need this hip work uh, as I do a lot of walking. Uh, yes, this, this session today, everyone, was very focused on hips and glutes because I'm aware uh, and because I've had so many messages, I'm getting around seven to 8,000 messages at the moment. So that's why if you haven't had a reply from me, I do apologize. It's just so, so hard to keep up with all the messages. So I put a little note on my community page the other day, just to remind you that if you do have questions, I do make sure I always set aside half an hour after class on a Friday to answer them. So if you really need an answer to something, 
best way to get it is to come to me live on a Friday or equally my Monday class. I do once a month live. That's the first Monday of every month. I'm trying to do a live in the afternoon UK time. So that works out morning time for those of you on the east side of the world. So that's especially the States and Canada. Um, but this is the best time to ask me anything really. So and I also wanted to encourage you all to follow me on Instagram. So my Instagram is the same name. It's at the girl with the Pilates mat. Do uh, follow me on there because I post little snippets on there. And I'm going to start to post a little more things, a little more things sort of to do with outside of Pilates as well. So things that are well-being related healthy lifestyle related, and also things to do with well-being as you get older, uh, because that's really my focus. As I'm an older person, I'm always looking at and investigating ways to take care of myself, whether it be nutrition, skincare, what I wear, what I have in my house, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if that kind of interests you, then do go and follow me on Instagram. And the other thing I want to do a quick shout out about is that I filmed a new workout this week, which is going to come out on Sunday. And that's after I've had so, so many requests from people who have scoliosis. Now, uh, if you've got scoliosis and you want a workout, which is kind of specifically for that, do come and check out my workout on Sunday. It's going to go out at 10 a.m. It's all been filmed already, and it's a really lovely workout for people with scoliosis. Obviously, scoliosis is, uh, is, can be very different in people. I have it. I have a double scoliosis. Um, you probably can tell a little bit if I show you that this, you see how this shoulder is lower than that one. That's because I have a rotation in my spine, which is what scoliosis is. Um, and there are lots of ways to work with it. Pilates is one of those disciplines. It's so good if you have that imbalance in your body. A lot of sports people have scoliosis, people who started very young. Um, I started doing gymnastics when I was very, very young, so three, four years old. And uh, they have said in a lot of um, studies that have been done that you can get scoliosis by doing kind of high impact work when you're very young. So it can be something that has happened to you through starting sport at an early age, but it also can be something you're born with. Uh, and I do have scoliosis in my family as well. It is a genetic uh, condition as well. So if that interests you, come and check that out on Sunday. Okay, anyway, uh, going on from here, Margaret Quinlan uh, has donated. Thank you very much indeed, Margaret. Leslie Matten says, still on my alternate week live sessions at the moment, morning or winds haven't yet arrived in London. Keep safe. Oh, that's good, Leslie. I think they're coming uh, lunchtime, aren't they? So do take care of yourself, Leslie. Sarah Vanna calls. Hello to you, Sarah, from a very windy North Yorkshire. OK, I hope you're OK up there, Sarah. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we have a new lady here, Claudia who says, ciao, from Tuscany, first time here live, 68 years old with osteoporosis and new to Pilates. The four-part beginner's video, including flexion moves, not good for spinal osteoporosis. Are there beginning, beginner videos for osteo people? So Claudia, yes, all you have to do is go into my search bar and put Pilates for osteoporosis. There, I think there are two videos that actually have it in the title. And I also have a 20 minute core workout. So core all around here, which has no flexion in. OK, so that is also very safe for you. So go and have a look for those, Claudia. And yeah, if it's got osteoporosis in the title, you know that you're safe. Obviously, you understand that if you have osteoporosis or indeed osteopenia, you need to avoid flexion of the body. So I have a lot of people, Claudia, now that come to my classes regularly and just adapt them as they need to. OK, so but yes, Claudia, go and look for my Pilates for osteoporosis. Uh, they're there in the uh, in the videos. You just need to do a little search. OK, uh, Cheryl Allen 
says, uh, morning everyone on this very windy day. Thanks Rachel for the pelvic floor and resistance band workout. More uh, like that if you can please. So yes, I will Cheryl. Uh, I'm trying to gear up to do a bit more filming for you. So that's the plan. Can you see as my dog's tail? Look at a little tail wagging. Is that your tail wagging Boo? Boo's had a haircut. So if I can get her to, uh, to come and sit on my lap, I'll show you. And there we go. Morning to Kieran Go here. Lovely to see you, Kieran. Morning to Josie Briggs. Thank you for your donation, Josie. And Carol Walno, thank you for your donation as well. And uh, Carol says, thank you, Rachel, for all your wonderful videos and wise words. Well, thank you, Carol. It's lovely, lovely, lovely to have you here. Roger has sent a lovely message saying to keep safe, everybody. Thank you, Roger. Helen Millen says, hello, everyone. Looking forward to this session from a blustery Norfolk. I know the weather here is pretty scary. So please, everyone, if you are in this storm right now, please don't take any risks. Don't go near any trees. Try and avoid going out if you can. Just hunker down, batten down the hatches, as they say and stay safe. Um, okay, so Judy Barnett. Hello, Judy Barnett. Says, uh, good morning. First hair client of the day has had to cancel so I can join live for the first time. Woohoo! Thank you, Judy. I hope you enjoyed it. Trisha Ray says, thank you. I'm going to do this at the end of class. Linda Verney Thompson says, hello, everyone. Hope you're all safe and healthy. We'll do this session tomorrow. I know it's a, quite a few people who like to save the session for Saturday, which is a great every uh, great. And finally, here we are. Lily Ma says, hi, everyone. I miss the workout, but I'm here for the chat. Today's my birthday, and I wanted to spend it with my Pilates buddies. Lily, that's so lovely. I think we should all sing Lily happy birthday, don't you? So here we go. Boo, do you want to come and say happy birthday to Lily? Come and say happy birthday, because Lily's here. Can you see Boo's had her hair cut? She's been to the groomers this week, so she's looking very, very pretty. So we're going to sing happy birthday. Here's Kerwin. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lily. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Oh, what's here? There's something in, oh, what's this here? It's a little message and it also says, happy birthday, Lily, from Boo. There you go. How lovely. Thank you, Boo. What a lovely thing to do. Oh, my. I hope you enjoyed that little rendition, Lily. Try to keep it in tune because I know you're musical. Uh, Ruth Enright, so on to the workout. It says, lovely focus workout. Thank you, Rachel. Carol, you enjoyed the workout. Mary Campbell says, thank you, Rachel. Says, hey, half term, great to see you and to do this session live. My butt is fired. <laughs> good to hear that. Yes, it's quite a good one, isn't it? For feeling those gluteal muscles. You know what? We spend so much time sitting down now that they really, really do not get worked enough. So, you know, this is one of those workouts where if you really felt it today and you're getting that burn, then that means something to come back to. Definitely one to do again. So there we go. Uh, Susan Mitchell says, thank you, Rachel. Fab workout. Even though my hip protested but worked through it. Well, as long as you're not in pain, Susan, because remember, pain we don't want. Burning muscles is fine. Pain in the joints that's a no-no. So as long as you felt okay. Sarah Runner calls. Thank you very much, Sarah, for your donation. And Sarah, I want to say thank you for all your messages on Instagram. It's lovely to see you over there as well. Uh, Penelope McLeod says, when we did the exercises on our side, I really felt my hips and glutes. So perhaps I was doing something right. Indeed, Penelope, you were. Uh, Mary Campbell, thank you very much for your generous donation. Much appreciated. 
lots of happy birthdays to Lily's. That's really lovely. Thank you, everyone, for all of those. Leslie Matten says, thank you, Rachel. Excellent workout. Crystal T says, thank you. Josie Briggs says, a great session. I think we're all going to be feeling it tomorrow. Yes, indeed. And you know what? If you're feeling it, good one to go and uh, do another gentle session to just alleviate some of that stiffness. So a nice 30-minute session tomorrow for you all when you've got a Saturday morning, a bit more relaxed. Great idea. Uh, Cheryl Allen says, great workout, Rachel. Really felt those stretches. Diane McFadden says, thanks, Rachel. Great to be back. Uh, Mary Campbell says, hi, everyone. Great to be with the World Pilates Member Club. What a lovely idea. I love that, Mary. Thank you. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse has donated. Thank you very much, Yvonne. Lovely to have you here. Sally Ann says, terrific workout. Definitely one to repeat. Thank you, Rachel. You're very, very welcome. Cherry Marshall says, haven't been here live for a while. As usual, it was great. Thank you so much. Well, you're so, so welcome. Stephanie Langton says, fabulous class. Thank you. Just what I need. Might have to repeat this one regularly as I have trouble with my piriformis. Yes, Stephanie, a really good one. If your piriformis is uh, tight, don't forget the stretches in this one as well. Really, really good for the piriformis, particularly the one where we put the ankle across the knee and then pull the leg towards us. Great stretch for the piriformis. And the same, the one we did sitting where we take that leg over and then rotate away whilst hugging the knee in. So excellent. Again, more happy birthdays for Lily. I have to say, Lily, you've been such a lovely member of our community. I love the fact that you chat to everyone and you kind of all know each other. So someday we're all going to have to meet, aren't we? We will. We will. We'll make it happen one way or another. Stephanie Langton says, fabulous class. Um, Sarah Runnicle says, can you recommend a way to manage your posture when sitting in the car? I seem to slump. That is a brilliant question. Sarah, going to let you into a little uh, inside secret. I actually have a cushion for my car when I'm driving to avoid the slump because what happens with a car seat is often a car seat is on an angle like this. Yeah, so your bottom is here and your knees are up here. And of course, it really, really pulls on your back. So I actually have a wedge shape cushion that goes in, which brings my hips level. So I always recommend to anyone who gets stiffness, especially if you've got long car drives or you drive your car a lot, uh, put a cushion under your bottom and try and bring your hips into line with your knees. And that will really release your back, but it will also stop that slumping, this kind of slumping forward. Yeah, um, you can buy a specialist. I do have a specialist cushion. You can go online and look for those. Lots of people sell them. They're like little wedges and they've got a cutout. Um, let me see. I don't know if I've got a pen handy and I could draw a little picture of what they look like. Um, so they kind of look. Oh, that's not very good. It kind of looks a bit like that. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Kerwin. My lovely hustle's brought it in. Here's my cushion, my car seat cushion. So that's what it looks like sideways, but you can probably see there's a raised bit here. So that's where your pelvis sits and it kind of jacks up your hips basically. And then that's the shape from the front. So this is the way you would put it in the car. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where we got that. Did we get that online? Oh, we got it on eBay. There you go. So have a look on eBay and find yourself a cushion. But I would really, really recommend that, uh, Sarah. Uh, makes a huge difference. Um, okay, and there's also, that's quite good if you sit in a chair for long amounts of time on your computer. It's really, really good to have a cushion like that because, again, it stops the kind of the lower back slump. And, of course, if I slump now, you can see what happens. My whole body goes forward. So sitting up as tall as you can, and that's often aided by being on one of those cushions 
Or if you're able, you can get a big exercise ball, you know, a big Swiss ball and sit on one of those so you're not in a fixed seat. And that kind of makes you constantly readjust the back. So that's also quite a good thing to have as long as you don't forget you are sitting on a ball because uh, I do know people who've rolled off there. So there we go. Um, okay, so Sissy, you really enjoyed that workout. That's good. Uh, it's Carol as in Christmas. Oh, Carol, I beg your pardon. I do this every week, don't I? Carol, as in Christmas, Carol. Thank you very much. All right, Carol will know. I do apologize. Um, okay, so going on to Delia Hart. Delia says, morning, Rachel. Thank you for a great targeted class. I'm in Painton and currently listening to Storm Eunice raging around me. I had to stop for a while. I saw a chair blow past the window. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's scary. Do, do be careful, everyone. Uh, Cherry Marshall, thank you for your donation. Cherry, lovely to have you here. Vicky Isaacs, thank you very much, Vicky, for your donation as well. More happy birthdays for Lily. You're doing very well today, Lily, with all your Pilates buddies, aren't you? Uh, wonderful. Julie Hunt, thank you, Julie, for that really generous donation. Very much appreciated. Julie says, excellent class, Rachel. I trained legs with the resistance band last night, so definitely need the release and flexibility. Thank you. Have a blessed uh, but windy day. And you, Julie, you take care of yourself. Lovely to hear that you were working out with me last night. I had a lovely message. There's a lady who a lot of you know called Myrna, who's over in the States, and Myrna works out with me every day religiously. She sent me a message on Twitter this week to tell me to pack my bags because she was moving to Beverly Hills in the USA and uh, to get ready for the move. And I was going with her. So I was very excited to hear that. Um, it's lovely for me to hear where you all are. I love to know where you are in the world because it just gives me a sense of kind of who's working out and the fact we really are a worldwide community. There's people all over the world that come to this session, both live this morning, but also as it goes out over the weekend as well. Morning to Virgo. Virgo, lovely to have you here. Hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, Virgo says, I've lost my Pilates fitness. Time to get back into a daily routine with Rachel. Felt aches in the abdominals after last Friday's class. Thank you so much, Rachel. Good to hear, Virgo. And you know what? Yeah, don't get hung up about it. Just try and do a little bit every day and you'll soon get that fitness back. Because remember, Virgo and everyone, our muscles have memory. So if you've done fitness before, if you've done Pilates before, your body will remember those moves. And it's just a matter of getting back into a routine, regular routine. As you know, I always say consistent exercise. That's the way to go. Rona Stevens, thank you very much, Rona, for your donation. Morning to the lovely Helen Lees. Hi, Helen. Nice to have you here. Delia Hart has a question. Says, oops, where did it go? So Delia Hart, I beg your pardon, my chat's just jumped up. Where are we? Ah, oh, here we go. When I do the bridges, so this is Delia Hart, when I do the bridges targeting the glutes, I get a pain just above my right knee. When I do the pulses, it develops into a sharp pain, so I have to stop and stretch the leg out. Okay, so Delia, I would say stopping is the best thing to do, absolutely. If you try, do you get that pain when you do the pelvic curl? As in the, the bridge where we curl up through the spine. Be good to kind of note that in yourself. And I would say, check the position of your knees. It may be, and your feet. It may be that your feet are slightly out of a line. They might be turned in or turned out. Knee might not be in line with your hip. Very important to get that tracking the leg and if the pulses hurt the knee leave it out okay but I would say see if you can check Delia or have someone check your alignment uh, because often that can cause an issue in the knee you know if we're slightly misaligned there 
I know that's something that I get if I don't have my knee in line. So have a look at that. Um, but I'm glad you stopped. Yeah, because that's the important thing. If something doesn't feel right, as I always say, then don't do it. Uh, Maggie Leicestershire says, Rachel really enjoyed my second live session. Just what I needed after gardening yesterday. Oh, my goodness, Maggie. Good thing you did your gardening yesterday, not today. Um, and I hope the garden holds out. So good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Madeline Woodhead, hello, says, good one today, Rachel. Thank you. Finally got my son, Philip, doing these sessions. Well done. Excellent. Glad to hear the more, the merrier. Chloe Brown, hello, Chloe. Chloe says, great, strong session. It may have looked like we were just lying on our sides, but really knew I had done something. We did the glute stretch. Yes. And those movements on the side, Chloe, as you will know, having done it this morning, it's all about keeping the pelvis still. Because in Pilates, where you get that really strong core, and you can see that I've got a very strong core, where you get that strength from is isometrically holding the body. In other words, you're using all your core muscles, front, side, and back, to hold your body still while you're doing those leg movements. So you're getting kind of double the work, really. You're getting all the core work as well as the hip and glute work. So excellent stuff. Uh, Alison Connolly, hello, Rachel. Thank you so much for the session this morning. That was the first time I've joined your live session, although I've been doing your sessions on YouTube for about 18 months. Alison, welcome. Lovely to have you live. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do come again, as you know, I'm here every Friday. Carlin Hawken, thank you very much for your donation. Lovely to have you here. Uh, going down, and Maggie, thank you very much for your donation as well. Uh, Mary Campbell says, lovely to see you live on the school holidays. Caroline Ford says, lockdown in London, and wondering if my family will make it over from Denmark today. Fourth time lucky or not. Thank you for the class, Rachel. So good to have some structure to the day. Oh, Caroline, I hope your family make it, although it's very windy, so main thing is I hope they're safe and I do hope you get to see them soon. Carol Woolner says, I'd love to do one of your live in-person classes. Great idea. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, we will look into that, Carol. Um, it will probably be uh, in London or maybe Brighton, depending on where people feel they could get to. But I will definitely look into that for maybe later in the year, perhaps the summer, uh, when people are uh, are hopefully more able to get out and about. Trisha Ray, hello Trisha, says another brilliant class, Rachel. First class, brilliant. Have recommended your class to all my friends and family. Thank you to you too, to Kerwin and you. Well, thank you, Trisha. Lovely, lovely to have you here live. Glad you enjoyed the experience. Uh, hey, Sarah from Scotland. Sarah says, any recommended videos uh, to work on strengthening my TVA? Thanks again for a brilliant session. Stay safe in the storms. Very snowy here. So, yes, the TVA versus abdominus muscle. I mean, I would say, Sarah, every session I do works the TVA because Pilates is very much focused on that. So I would say for you, if you want to really target that, uh, the 20 minute core workout I have, if you put in my search bar, 20 minute core workout, that is very TVA focused because there's no flexion in it at all. And it's all about stabilizing and really keeping that body still. So the TVA gets a lot of work in the stabilizing movement. So even today you were working it a lot because you were trying, you were having to keep your pelvis and your spine still while you were working the hips and the legs. So I would say they all will work the TVA. But if you want to feel a very targeted approach, then I would say go for the 20 minute core workout. Caroline Ford, thank you very much for your donation, Caroline. Much appreciated. Uh, Carol, and Carol Neath says, I find the hip exercises so beneficial as I seem to spend the day sitting at a computer. Fridays wouldn't be the same without this session. Okay, wonderful stuff. 
rain, uh, rain, rainy. My first live class for a while, and it was fabulous. Just what I needed today. You're very, very, very welcome. Okay, lots of people enjoying the uh, birthday song for Lily. Uh, you're very, very welcome. Uh, yes, and Kerwin came on camera specially for you. All right, everyone. Well, I think I'm going to whiz down the chat. I'm just going to check whether or not there's any more questions. Um, oh, Terry. Terry says, I did the exercises this morning. They were great. Haven't listened to the chat yet, but will later as I always enjoy it. My daughter has tested positive for COVID this morning. Busy testing. Oh, well, look, I wish you all a speedy recovery. I hope you're all okay. And uh, finally, message to Roger. Roger Price says, thank you so much for the class. Scary hill in scary here in Red Hill, despite the sun out. Una, Una, you look after yourself and everybody out there, please, please take care of yourselves today. I'm going to sign off now. I will be back next week, same time, so Friday at 10 a.m. I've got a session coming out on Sunday. And if you haven't had a chance yet, do have a look at my February playlist. It's 10 videos for you to do in February. And I'll have a new one for you in March. Until then, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye. Lots of love from me, from Kerwin, and from my little boo here. All right, take care. See you soon.